Welcome back, everyone. For the for first-time parents, having a child can be scary enough, but try having one in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. As states begin to shut down and take measures to combat the spread of the virus, we introduced you to the Williamson family yesterday. They share with WCBI Scott Martin the challenges they faced and how they overcame. Blake and Charlie Williamson knew their baby was going to be born in Houston, Texas. They knew he would have to fight for his life. But what they didn't know is that the coronavirus would force the Lone Star State to shut down. We come for a preliminary visit in March. And while we were here in March, that's when uh, shut down the governor here <laughs> shut down Texas. So by the time we got out here in April, like we had to have papers to get here. Yeah. yeah. A letter from the doctor was their ticket into the state of Texas. You know, you had to be like your reason for visiting Texas. We're travel, like, yeah. so, I'll you know, we have a letter from going to the hospital. He's just like, Wilder was born with a mass on one of his lungs. His parents say his best chance of survival was in this Texas hospital. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, Wilder's parents have to alternate days to visit him, and no one else is allowed in. We can't send grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, cousins, whatever. Um, so that part's a little tough because we're, you know, we have to FaceTime whenever we're in there to show the other one what's going on. Even during pregnancy, Charlie was the only one allowed to her appointments. 2020 has thrown a lot of curveballs at the Williamsons, but the love and support from their hometown of Starkville has kept them strong. They have been kind enough to go and check on our house. You know, they're taking care of the yard. They're checking our mail. Um, you know, you know, every couple of weeks to walk around and flush all the toilets, turn all the faucets. From miles away, home has been the backbone for the Williamsons. Another thing that amazed them is the kindness from strangers. It was just amazing, the outpouring of support that people, strangers, families, friends that, you know, we know that are struggling themselves during these yeah. times um, through all these uncertainties of, you know, COVID and the financial effects for everyone right now. And they, you know, still were donating to us. So it was very humbling and yeah. overwhelming to know that that many people cared about Wilder and cared about yeah. us. Wilder is expected to be in a Houston hospital for several more months. We'll have more on how you can help the family and Wilder's recovery. It's all going to be on our website, WCBI.com.